How's it going, Dizzlers? I am here on the set of the TU25 update world with another update video, but with something else. I'm going to show you five secret things that were added into this update that some people don't know about. Now, don't ask me why I have a pumpkin on my head. I just randomly did that, and I thought it was cool. Okay, so let me get this off. There we go. With this first one, what most people didn't know about this is that you can now left-click armor on. While you have it in your hotbar, all you have to do is left trigger, and it instantly equips it. So you don't have to, like, while it's in here, you have to go through it, then click it, drag it in there. Just press triangle, equip it all into that. Whoa. <laughs> Whatever. Um, you, it, while it's in your hotbar, after you make it, just press the left trigger, and it will equip it. Most people didn't know that. I thought it was pretty cool, because while you're, like, on the run... And you don't have your armor on and it's in your hotbar, just scroll over and click it. So, alright, the second thing... Oh, whoops, I have to put all this back. I have to take it off first. That would be a smart idea. Okay. Now the second thing is that they... For the last update, they increased the, the distance of splash potions. But with this update, they decreased it, okay? Um, you're gonna be kind of, like... I don't know how to describe this, but from, like, you used to be able to throw it from halfway from me to that sheep. Now this is how far you can throw it. It's kind of depressing. Like, it, it, if you're going to have, like, games where you have to throw potions at people, it's going to be pretty difficult because in that range, they'd be able to catch enough speed to actually hit you. So I, I feel that it was stupid of them to switch that back. But I guess 4J and Mojang have their own ideas. With this, I know I have mentioned that you now have stackable doors. But there's also something else that they added with these. I will show you in a second. Here we go. One thing that they added with these is that you can now do this. No matter how much you click over them, it will always leave one door. I have no idea why. Like, you can't click over it and redo that. It always leaves one door. But the fun part is that now they're actually, like, really stackable. Like, you can just go, yep, yep, yeah, 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 all the way down if you needed to. Now, I can't get rid of these. I'm kind of stupid. I don't know why I did that. But, yeah, that that's something else they added. You can't restack these once they're unstacked. Kind of sucks. They should fix that. It'd be a better thing. Um, another thing. This one took a while to set up. Because you have to damage the armor. But they now added it where you can take the armor and add them together. And you can now get a full piece of armor. I've been waiting for this for so long. Because they used, they had it where you could only repair your armor if you had an anvil. But now that if you have one that's damaged and one that's full. You can just switch them both into the classic crafting or whatever crafting you're using. Now that I think of it, I think it has to be classic crafting. So you're going to have to switch to that to repair. You're going to just, like I said, put them both in here and you should get a full piece of armor. This next one, there's an exclusive biome that we have, that console has, that PC doesn't have. But whether this is a mistake by 4J or Mojang or they meant to do this, either way, we have a biome that PC doesn't. I will show you that right after I cut this. See you there in a second. Okay, guys. I'm on the customizable Super Flatland where it gives you the entire list of the biomes in the game. I can't show you on super uh, on survival because it's so hard to find. But the, uh, the biome that they added is Frozen Ocean. You can now find, as it says right there, plain as day, a Frozen Ocean. I will show you how where or what it looks like in a second okay i have villagers enabled somehow don't know how but let me get this started create new world yes loading sucks yada yada okay let me go where is it all right I'll cut here until I get... Well, I'll cut to where I find one, so I will be right back. Okay. 
I found out that I had something wrong, so I went in and fixed it, and I made it a water world with the frozen ocean biome, and here you go. As you see, everything is starting to freeze over. It's a slow process. I think you can use it for some cool stuff, like you have to... I, don't, I honestly don't even know. It, it'd be cool to play on, I guess. <laughs> Just not as a full world, because you can obviously not do anything. But yeah. This, as I said before, this this biome is exclusive to consoles. It has not been released on P on PC or anything like that. As why I have no clue that is something to take up with for you know, 4J and Mojang. But I guess yeah, th that that would conclude this video. Actually, no, it doesn't. I have one other thing to show you. Okay, we. Well, uh, I found something out that I really shouldn't have, but I guess I did. This right here, as you can see, is the end of the world, okay? If you take, like, this this is a, bon a bonus fact here that, that I really didn't plan on saying, but let me find out what one it is. Okay, it's this one. If you go to the end of the world right here, and you throw ender pearls on this edge... You can glitch outside. Watch. You can get yourself stuck in the side right here. Whoa. Ah! Okay. That's cool and cool thing to show you. But I guess I'll I'll end the video here. If you enjoyed it and it helped you, leave a like, sub subscribe for more, and I will see you guys in the next video. Headbutt.